you're anything like me, you like to leave your room in a really great and well-organized space. That way when you come back at the new school year, you can dive right in, you know where everything is and everything is fresh and ready to go. So I thought I'd share with you how I like to leave my storage closet so I'm ready for the brand new school year. <laughs> An organized storage closet, have you guys even met me? Look at this place. Piles upon piles of donations from classroom teachers. All the supplies used to wrap up those end of the year projects. The mountains of stuff are endless. Why don't we just cut the lights and close the door on that one. And now for an episode of Art Teacher Hoarders. Take a look at me trying to navigate the hoarder waters that is my storage closet. I could have ended up with a broken ankle. Workman's comp, y'all. Workman's comp. I don't even know where to stand to talk to you guys. <laughs> so normally in an art teacher in 101, I like to share some tips and some tricks and, you know, the how to's and how I kind of do it. Cause this is what works for me of art teacher in, um, in my room. And so now I present to you real life. Um, I get, I get sometimes questions on my blog, and one of the questions is, can you show us, like, um, a total fail, like a fail of a project or, you know, something of that nature? Because, you know, that's the only drawback about um, looking at blogs is usually we bloggers paint one specific picture that we want to present to the world. We're not usually showing you this, but I'm telling you, this, as an art teacher being organized and staying organized is my biggest struggle. It's not only my biggest struggle as an art teacher, but it's just my biggest struggle in general as a human being on this earth. Being organized, everything has its place, um, not hoarding. Those are things that I am not capable of. I mean, I guess I could try harder because let's face it, I really don't. If it's not fun, I'm not going to do it. Um, but anyway, I thought I would just kind of let you see a little peek behind the curtain or behind the closet door. And like I said, I've got another paper storage closet that's actually a little bit maybe worse than this one. So like I said, this is why I'm here. And I feel like one of the, the biggest issues with being an art teacher is that not only are the majority of us not organized by nature, we, I mean, I just feel like a lot of um, us, our brains don't operate that way. At least that's the excuse that I use and I'm sticking to it. But we also get a lot of donations. Like I would say that, you know, a good portion of what's happening in here are things that have been donated to me, which I'm extremely thankful for. But sometimes I don't know how to store those things. Sometimes I'll get them at the, you know, in the middle of the year, if I'm in the middle of teaching something. And to be honest, I get the big bulk of donations at the end of the school year when all the other classroom teachers are cleaning out their rooms. And I, like I said, I'm very thankful. But at the same time, when I'm also trying to clean my room and it's kid after kid bringing me boxes of foam and do you need this yarn and how about these stamps and yes, yes, and yes, I'll gladly take them. But instead of having the time to organize them, I'm usually just leave this closet open and I'm like, all right, friend, you just go right ahead and just drop it. Where do I want me to put this, Miss Stevens? Wherever there's space. Where I, <laughs> Miss Stevens doesn't know. <sighs> and my good buddy, the music teacher, she's so smart. She had the kids organize her closets before going on break, which I think sounds like a great idea. It's just I can't quite seem to make that happen. How can I teach small children how to organize a space when they'd probably be better at it than me? I don't know how to organize it. Y'all figure it out. It's a puzzle. It's called STEAM. We're going to use some science, maybe some technology, a little bit of engineering. That's what it is. That's how we can get STEAM to work to our advantage. All right. I'm really just hanging out with you here because I'm avoiding work. So, I, like I said, just thought I would give you a little glimpse into art teacher in real life. If you're a brand new art teacher and you have like an empty storage closet because you haven't had enough money to buy supplies, you haven't gotten donations, just you wait. This can one day all be yours. All right, guys. I got some work to do. Talk to you later. Just going to keep it real, real. Y'all know I did not stick around and clean the closet. I did manage to pick up my room. I'll tackle this piece next week.
maybe.